company actually started in, in April of 78 and uh, we purchased two stores that were uh, formerly owned by the JCPenney Food Corporation, which was a subsidiary of JCPenney. And uh, our first store was on Breckerins Lane. My dad ran that one, and uh, my godfather ran the store over on uh, Preston Highway. Um, and uh, I used to go pretty much every Saturday to the stores and um, pull cardboard in the soup section, you know, pull cardboard in the canned goods section, run the dust mop around the store. Independent grocery stores used to be the mainstay that was your primary mom and pop stores littered the landscape in America and chains have grown in size and number of stores. And people used to drive further to shop than what they do today. Today is much more convenience driven. That's hence the amount of stores and the drug stores that carry groceries and the dollar stores that carry groceries and all of the other areas of competition that have kind of come into play. We've kind of changed in philosophy over the years. Uh, you know, 1998 changed the landscape of, of the way we go to business today. That was when Walmart and Meyer came to Louisville and it was the first time nationwide those two Supercenter outfits met. We realized at that point you're not gonna out Walmart Walmart. You can't. It doesn't work. It's not a long-term strategy because we don't have the buying power that they have. We had to do something different. Well Walmart does give you some opportunities and things like variety. They don't offer a lot of unique things in their stores because they can't. You know, they're geographically so spread out, their, their item selection is the top items, but where we might carry you know, 40 craft dressings, they might have 10. We had to go back in and retool each of our stores to fit the neighborhoods they're in. Um, had to make the store look and feel part of the neighborhood, have the store merchandise for the neighborhood, and really focus on two miles around the store and no more. We run a common ad, but there's really not a greater example of that than the store we're in today. At our Iroquois Manor location, half of our customer base is, is truly first and second generation international customers. I'm the store manager of Value Market on the Iroquois Manor. I worked with Value Market for somewhere around 30 years. I worked as in many different uh, jobs. I was night stock manager, uh, did floors, um, dairy frozen, then uh, assistant grocery manager, grocery manager, co-manager, and then store manager. Our most popular aisle would be aisle number two. That's our, that's our ethnic aisle that, that has a whole lot of those items. Now we have some other ethnic items blended in with, with the sections, like we have ethnic coffees with coffees and things like that, but the biggest concentration of our, of our ethnic foods is, is in aisle two. We have folks from Cuba, Vietnam, uh, Sudan, Somalia, Bosnia, and we carry items that they were used to getting back home or that they were able to buy in bigger cities and not available in our market prior to us carrying. Once we made the change over to carrying a lot of the ethnic and international foods, a true ethnic consumer may buy 30% of their goods in fresh produce, 30% of their goods in fresh meat. So when you took that average, it blossomed where it's the highest store for produce now because we carry unique items. We carry Asian greens that you don't see at too many other places. We carry a lot of uh, unique root vegetables that you don't see at a lot of other grocery stores. And it's been a point of differentiation. We really started in produce here because we had some international grocery stores that were carrying the dry foods, but nobody was going after that fresh business. We have all kinds of people asking us for foods that they've They've seen somewhere else, uh, seen on the internet, uh, Americans and ethnic, um, looking for, for things for their recipes. We had, we had one just the other day and, and we didn't have it. And they think since we have so much that we can get everything. We try, but we can't. That's today's environment. You, you really, our customers don't want anything out of stock. Um, you know, it's changed the landscape of how we do business in produce. For instance, that grapes used to be seasonal. There used to be a season for grapes. Now you have to have them every day, no matter where they're coming from, Chile, Brazil, Mexico, California. There's a different growing season, a different pricing structure based on where it's at. But today's consumer wants to buy grapes 52 weeks of the year. They don't want to hear that there's a season. We were the first grocery store uh, in, in the city and, and still are the only to, to date that you can shop online for our groceries. It's something we started back in 2003. We uh, uh, looked into some different service providers. We uh, found one at, at a national uh, association, Food Marketing Institute has a, uh, now it's every two-year conference. 
Uh, and we found a company that gave us the, the backbone or the support to do the online portal for our grocery business. The people we work for are great people. Uh, they take really good care of us. And it's, it, it's a cliche, people say it's a cliche, but truly I feel like Value Market is a people that work here are my family. They take care of me, I take care of them. You know, go out of our way to help them. It's just kind of in your blood. You, you just you love, love working with people, love working with customers, love satisfying customers' needs. I, I've never known anything else, really.